Hello. Um, I was wondering, why would um, Yosef and Benjamin cry, you know, knowing that the two Beit HaMikdash will be destroyed, if they also know that, like, that there'll be a third one built? Like, if they know that the end game is going to be, like, all happy, then why cry at the other two? Well, you say somebody dies, God forbid, the family, why cry? You know, the get up, the dead will, will rise soon. So why cry if somebody dies? Right now, it's a tragedy. Right now, you first missed them. Right now, they're not here. So we could have had them all these years alive, and, and they're not alive anymore right now. So there's something to cry about. Don't people cry? Some people leave, uh, uh, go away for a trip, and, and they're going for a year. Your parents are dead cry. Why are you crying for? They're going to come back soon. But in the meantime, you miss them. So based on something for sure, all those years, 2,000 years, we don't have the base So that's ah, okay. We went through all those 2,000 years because God wasn't with us. All the Holocaust and the Inquisitions and all the, all the uh, tourists that we went through because there was no Beis HaMikdash. So you can't say, well, Sheikh's going to come eventually. In the meantime, it's terrible. So there's something to cry about. Don't be sad, don't